Hey guys, it's Daniel Real. Today we're talking about Golly Games and the recent allegations between the two co-founders. If you guys didn't already know what's happening with Golly Games, they are buying a lawsuit against each other for two reasons. One says that he stole $130 million with the Gala. The other says he was wasting corporate money. Now, what do I think is true in this case scenario? I think that the following people are getting affected. The community. The community is the people of Gala Games that says this is going to be a... You know, the number one cryptocurrency, gaming block buy, blockchain, uh, other crypto buzzwords. And they didn't understand what, essentially what they were investing in. And but this is a underlying problem with cryptocurrency. And I think a lot of people will come to find this as a, um, almost as a study to what is happening with crypto blockchain. Um, you already know that crypto has had lots of rug pulls. And I think this is a rug pull for the following reasons of they released their Gala V2 token in May 15th. Uh, essentially what they're gonna do is they're gonna do a one-to-one -one, um, exchange for the Gala V1 for Gala V2. And what they were saying is that this underlying Gala V2 was an improvement of Gala V1. But I don't think that's what happened because if you look at the price of Gala over the last, you know, since May, I mean, let's just look right here. As soon as they released it over here, May 15th, we have fallen another 50%. And I think we're going to continue to fall, and I think we'll see new low numbers of Gala that we've never seen before. And maybe this is a time to pick up a little bit of Gala right now. Maybe it's um, time for you to pick it up in another week or two, but um, only time will tell where Gala goes in the next few months. But the underlying thing that I want to uh, come across to you guys is that Gala is essentially rugging on their community. And the only people that um, lose in this case scenario is the community. And the reason why they're losing is because they have built this ecosystem up, propped these founders up on such a high pedestal, that now they're fighting each other in court. And do I think a lot of development's going to happen for Gala Games in the next year or so, um, going into the bull run? I don't think so, because now, not only did they have to worry about making stuff for their blockchain, providing stuff for their family, and going out and having fun, but now they have to go sue each other in court. If you've ever been inside a litigation battle, just go look at the SEC versus Ripple or XRP, however you want to look at it, but they are essentially just wasting time and wasting people's um, essentially energy, money, and effort and to essentially bind into a, another you know, rug pull. I mean, essentially a rug pull is what happened. And with Gala Games, I don't think this is going to be the first time we see a rug pull. This is definitely not the last time. This is definitely not the first time. But for everybody that's been inside of crypto for a, a while, they understand the telltale signs of what a crypto project is dying. And this is one of them. Um, first off, you're down 97% over the year. Second one, your founders are suing each other. The third one, now they are no longer producing for their blockchain. They've released a new token. I mean, these are just telltale signs of they are trying to put a tourniquet on the bleeding wound, and it's been bleeding for the past, you know, year. I mean, it's, it's been bleeding for the whole day, essentially. Like, you, they got shot. They're trying to fix the bullet wound, but they didn't get shot with the 9mm. They got shot with the fucking 50 cal. It's embarrassing what's happening. And I, I think right now, for everyone that's invested in Gala, my recommendations is to, um, if you want to hold your bag and say, you know, well, this is my bag. I, I'm going to hold it. Well, then you're, I guess you're just going to be a bag holder. Uh, if you choose to sell it, maybe this will be the first crypto lesson you learn about selling cryptocurrency at a loss. Maybe you find out in the six months you probably should not have sold it. But I, I think this is kind of one of the lasting marks of this 2023, 20, 2021, 2022 bull bear cycle. I mean, this is a telltale sign of we are getting close to a new all-time high for Bitcoin. When more negative news comes out about cryptocurrency, the more rugs, the more Ponzi schemes, the more people having litigation, the more people that get, you know, they all the loose hands get sold out. And so my recommendations for those people that are holding Gala if you think this is going to be the next moonshot and you see development and you feel there's a strong community presence, keep investing. But um, I, I don't think I'll be putting any money into Gala um, for two of the following reasons. They have yet to produce another all-time high. They haven't come out with any bullish news, and the founders are actually just fighting each other. They're not producing anything now. I mean, when was the last time Gala had a real nice update that benefited the community? Or give community back. I mean, all, all, essentially what's happening is they just keep taking and they're not giving anything. And I, I don't think it's going to be a very profitable token in the next year, next two years, five years, ten years. I mean, 
I could be wrong. I mean, this could be a benchmark of where I stand, but I don't think Gala is going to be a um, an X 10x or 100x token in the next bull run. I really don't think so. I mean, it's it's already putting the telltale signs of it being a rug pull. I mean, it's 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 not good. I mean, it's nothing about this is good for anybody in the situation. And I hope that when the court cases come to fruition, maybe they're public, maybe they go private, but hopefully they release what happens in the court and be, the community gets a little bit more closure on what's happening and where their crypto went wrong. Because if anything, this is all a learning experience for the cryptocurrency community in general as well. So without any further ado, my name is Andy Villarreal. I'll see you guys next time.